Today's daily scripture reading uh, has us continuing in the book of Psalms, where we are going to look at Psalms chapter 18 through 21. So only four Psalms today, as opposed to yesterday's seven Psalms. However, they are a little longer in nature. And it begins here in Psalm chapter 18. I have Psalm 18 titled, David Praises God Abundantly. Now, um, as far as uh, a, a devotion-wise, you know, this covers a lot of ground, this Psalm 50 verses throughout. But one thing that I wanted you to notice, and it's kind of a recurring theme, we'll see it a little later on in our studies here today, uh, is found in verse number 17. He says this, he says, He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. David is saying that he wasn't enough to, uh, you know, war against his enemy. But, uh, you know, the majority of this, like I said, God, he's blessing God because while David was unable, God was. God was able. He says in verse number 46, he said, The Lord liveth and blessed, by, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. So we see in, in Psalm 18, David praises God abundantly. Psalm 19, I have this titled out, God's glory in creation and character. The first part of this psalm deals with the creative aspect of God. And uh, it, it, the first two verses says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Talking about his creation. And in verse 3 it says, There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. In other words, um, God's glory shines through his creation to where it's unmistakable. If you go back to Romans chapter 2, and this is what Paul is talking about, um, and uh, then, as well, as far as Psalm 19 is concerned, if, you, if you've watched that movie, we just watched it last night with the, teen, the teens, uh, Play the Flute. The uh, scripture that's uh, dominant in that movie is found here in Psalm 19. It goes through verses uh, 7 through 11. And uh, it's a wonderful passage of scripture. And I encourage you to read that a few times. But he, he says several things, and they all relate unto God's word. The law of the Lord's perfect. The testimony of the Lord is, is sure. The statutes of the Lord are right. The commandment of the Lord is pure. The fear of the Lord is clean. The judgments of the Lord are true. Uh, much more to be desired than gold, yea, much, uh, than much fine gold. And, but it all comes down to verse number 11. It says, Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them, there is great reward. So in, in, in the word of God, as he is referencing and thrown in there, of course, the fear of the Lord is, uh, is that the, it, 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 it will keep us from trouble and it will bless us with abundance. That's what the word of God will do. It will keep us from trouble if we take it and heed it. It will keep us. Um, on the path that God would have us to be on, which is uh, one where we constantly, you know, have um, uh, his help and his assistance, his shield, uh, his fortress. Um, but it will also bring uh, blessings as well. And I also highlighted verse number 14, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. And that's that's what we should do. Not just what we say, not just what people hear, but the wellspring from which it comes. Let it all be pure in thy sight, O Lord. Psalm 20, I have this, and that is pr David prays for victory. Now, 20 and 21 will go together and we'll see that. But in uh, chapter 20, David is praying for victory. And we see this, a uh, cause and effect in verses 7 and 8. Verse 7, he says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. And so that's the cause. And the effect is found in the next verse. It says, they are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. That's the effect. That's the effect of those that trust in the Lord versus those that trust in the works of their hands or uh, what they can bring about. 
Um, so wonderful cause and effect there in verse 7, 8 of uh, Psalm 20. And now, so David pray, is praying for victory in Psalm 20, and then he is thanking God for victory in Psalm chapter uh, 21. Now, I want to read one verse to you here, and of course, it's all good, and I trust you'll read it. But verse number 7, it says, The king trusteth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. And then, when David is praying and or, or praising God for the victory, he is careful to make sure that God is the one that is getting all the glory. Now, I read verse number seven. If you continue down through there, he says this, Thine hand shall find out all the enemies, and thy right hand shall find out all those that hate me. Thou shalt make them as the fiery oven. Uh, the Lord shall swallow them up in this wrath. Uh, the fruit of... Uh, their fruit shall thou destroy. And uh, therefore, verse 12, therefore shalt thou make them turn. Uh, be, and it, of course, closes up. Be thou exalted, Lord, in thine own strength. So we will sing and praise thy power. David, make sure that it's God who is getting the credit, God who is getting the glory for the victory. And uh, that's the way we should be, man. All good gifts come from above. Uh, they're all good and, and they're all from God. And if you do anything good, it's because God has enabled you in order to do so. Put it in your heart and um, used it through your hands to bring it about. So we should always, in all of our victories, make sure that the praise and glory and honor goes unto the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's our study for today, Psalms 18 through 21. I hope this has been a blessing to you, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.